Hello, I'm Helen Bradley and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at thickening a line in Photoshop. Now I have a class on making lines thicker and thinner in Photoshop and that's where you want to affect an entire image for example. I'm going to link to it in the description area but this is not what this class is about. What I want to show you here is how I can thicken up the line around this crocodile's head but only thicken it up to a point because down here it's thick enough already. So what I want to do is build in this area but not in the area that's already quite thick. There is currently a solid line around the crocodile's head so I'm going to the magic wand tool. I'm going to set it so that contiguous is enabled because that's going to allow me to just click here and to select all the way around the crocodile's head but nothing inside the head. It's also ensuring that the lines that I already have are not part of my current selection. I'm going to choose select and inverse because what that's doing now is selecting the crocodile. I'm going to make a new layer. For ease of saying what I'm about to do I'm going to fill it with red but you could fill it with the color of the line that you want. I'm going to press alt backspace option delete because that fills my current selection with the red color. Now I want the line around the crocodile's head to be about 15 pixels. It can be thicker and it will be thicker in places because it already exists. But if it's non-existent or very thin I want it to be 15 pixels. So what I'm going to do is choose select and then modify and then contract because this is a selection in this area here and I want to make it smaller and I'm going to bring it in by 15 pixels. So now we have a thinner line. I'm going to press the delete key because that's going to delete the middle of my selection. I'll press Control or Command D to deselect my selection. You can see here that when this pink line is going to be black the line is going to be thicker in places. That's fine but here where it was very thin to start off with it's going to take on a 15 pixel line. All we have to do is make this black. To do that I'm going to lock the pixels on this layer and I'm going to fill them with this black color by pressing Control backspace command delete on the Mac. If I hadn't used red as my color I wouldn't have had to do that step so I'm just going to unlock those pixels again. Just be aware that you can probably just go straight into black with yours or the color that you want the line to be. I just wanted you to be able to see what was happening. Now let's look at what our line looks like. This is the before and this is the after. It's really having no effect at all along the jaw of the crocodile. Nothing is being added to that line but it's being thickened up here where it was already quite thin. I'm just going to merge these layers down by just going merge down. So there is a fairly quick and easy way of ensuring that the lines around an object are at least a minimum thickness. If you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time I'm Helen Bradley.